Okay, so call me crazy, but I apply for another credit card. Yeah, here we go. What's up, guys? It's Jay, and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's really going to help out the channel. Best way to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. Also, don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts on my new application. What do you think about the credit card I'm about to reveal? And just in general, I mean, start a conversation with me. I'll reply. All right. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into it. So, Obviously, recently, you guys, you know, if you've kept up with the channel, you have seen that I got approved for the city premiere card. And I did mention that, you know, in that video that I was going to apply for another card just to pair it with that card. So obviously, um, I got a city card. OK, uh, the reason why I got this card is just because I feel like now this card is actually much more valuable than it used to be. Okay, now previously this card was not a thank you point earning card, but now it's almost similar to Chase's structure with the Freedom Card, the Freedom Unlimited, the Ink Cash, and the Ink Unlimited. You can transfer these cash back points to thank you points. Now that card is actually gonna be the City Double Cash right here. And I have everything right here. I've gone ahead and opened it up. I'm going to keep it facing this way. Um, I don't think I'm in trouble. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so here's the thing. It, it can be kind of a, a touchy situation with uh, city applications. Um, just because if you're trying to get approved uh, for too many cards too soon, definitely doesn't look good. Now, what I did was uh, I did some research on city applications. You definitely want to wait more than 10 days between your applications. I basically just waited for my city uh, premiere card to come in the mail. Typically, it takes about seven to 10 days for their card to come in the mail. I probably took about 15 days before I was like, you know what? Uh, maybe I should just go ahead and apply for the card. I was planning on waiting uh, 30 days to apply, but I just couldn't help myself I wake up at 3 45 in the morning and I was in the middle of a workout and was like let me just apply for it right now so I went ahead and applied for it I got one of those messages saying you know we'll let you know it's under review and then you know literally the next day I was approved like I got the email saying congratulations you've been approved uh, you know and I had probably you know applied for it you know 24 hours prior so uh yeah so i got i got approved for the card same instance here as it was with the city premiere card i didn't get a necessarily high limit uh, i'm not exactly sure if this is just city in general they're not the most uh generous lenders i i have no clue honestly doesn't matter to me because i don't need that much credit limit uh between my two city cards i have about nine thousand no no definitely not nine thousand let's see yeah. Yeah, I have about 9,000 total between the two cards, so that's fine. So I got approved for $4,700, okay? So 4,700, which is actually more than my city premiere, which is crazy. Don't get it, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the reveal of the card and give you my thoughts on the card. Now, here's the card. I think it's a pretty nice looking card. Actually, it feels pretty cool. Uh, I mean, Every card is different, obviously. It is a plastic card, it bends. Cool thing is, the thing I like about city cards is numbers on the back, and this is just a cash back card, okay? Now, what I like about this card, like I mentioned before, it allows you to earn thank you points now. So, this is obviously a cash back card. Previously, it was only a cash back card. It was exactly that. It was just a cash back card, which, in my opinion, I don't think cashback is the best option um just moving forward i mean to get started and, and reward i believe it's a great starter just to get you going into points and miles but obviously you don't want to stick with uh in my opinion you know this is just my opinion you don't want to stick with just a cashback setup you know the entire time that you're you know that you're using credit card rewards okay so i definitely recommend this card so you're gonna get two points for every dollar you spend one when you spend one when you pay everything back okay the great thing about this card is that all of those cashback points are actually going to transfer at a one-to-one -one ratio to thank you points people were kind of uh you know anticipating that 
uh, city was going to give you a uh, you know two points for to 1.5 ratio in terms of city thank you points to transfer them to the to a city thank you earning card and it's they actually surprised everyone so I actually think this is a much more valuable card now than it used to be um, obviously in my old videos if you've guys ever seen in my my old videos when I talk about the chase trifecta anything like that um, I raved about how there was no other issuers that allowed you to transfer your cash back into you know into that points category so like the ultimate rewards with amex they don't allow you to transfer uh cash back into um membership rewards okay so this is actually a step up here i know city they don't have all the protections and insurances and things like that in place but i still think it is a valuable card just because like I said, this is a solid way to maximize the amount of points that you can earn with your non-bonus spending. So for instance, I have the City Premier card that gets you 3x on travel and gas. It also gets you 2x on uh, restaurants and entertainment. Now, if I weren't gonna do any bonus spending, right? And I was gonna use that card, I would only get one point for every dollar. Now, if I do that with this card, I get two points for every dollar. So it goes three, two, and then two on non-bonus spending when I pair it with the City Premier, okay? Now, obviously, if you have the City Prestige, it's gonna be much more different. Um, I'll go into a review on that uh, and just kind of, you know, later on in a different video. Just wanted to go ahead and, you know, let you guys know that you know i'm out here still trying to play the game uh now i know some people may not agree they you know there's definitely other more valuable cards to get other than the city double cash especially now with delta revamping their cards and everything like that obviously increasing the annual fee doing so as well um but this card is great because it comes with no annual fee and so I mean, I've been looking to get into a different ecosystem. Obviously, now I have done that. I've already almost earned my bonus for the City Premier card. The downside to this one, it does not come with a bonus. But again, I'm just trying to get into, you know, I'm just trying to get into a different ecosystem in terms of points. And I felt like this was the best move for me at this point in time. Now, um, I definitely do plan on, you know, being more active this year than I was last year. And another great thing about the city double cash is that there's no cap on the amount of cash back that you can earn. Now, most times you might see like with the, uh, with the chase freedom card, when you're trying to get that, you know, cash back, you you're limited to fifteen hundred dollars right and spend in those categories now most people end up you know maxing those out when they're savvy travelers or savvy credit card users they definitely know how to play the system and um most people don't you know it really just depends but the great thing about this is that if you're one of those savvy credit card users and you know you're able to keep your balances low and everything like that i think this is a great card to just continuously earn you know an unlimited amount of two points for every dollar you spend now like i said because the you know with the chase cards you're you know uh, uh, if it's not the freedom unlimited then obviously um or the ink unlimited with those with those cashback earning cards in terms of like the chase freedom you're limited to to a, a certain amount per quarter so uh i mean i think it's a great card now there is one more big news drop that i do want to uh let you guys know uh, I had someone reach out to me recently for a partnership. I've decided to uh, partner up with Zach from Travel Freely. Uh, Travel Freely is a website that, um, well actually it's a software. They really do a great job of uh, helping you track your annual fees if you have any amongst all your cards. They do a great job of uh, tracking your points bonuses for all your cards, how much more time you have to hit a specific bonus. And the great thing is they actually put a monetary value on the amount of points that you've earned. So, uh, you know, let's say you've earned that 80,000 point sign up bonus with the Inc. Business Preferred card. And, you know, you don't necessarily know how to calculate your points. Well, the great thing about Travel Freely is they're going to actually calculate that for you based on their evaluation. So I think that's a great tool to have. Um, I will be providing links if you guys would like to sign up to use Travel Freely and track all your cards. Another great thing about the, the software is that you're going to get an email every time your annual fee is due on one of your cards. And that email is actually going to come at a pretty significant uh, time before your annual fee is up. So that way it gives you a little bit more time to kind of make that decision whether you want to keep it, downgrade it, or even cancel the card. I never recommend canceling cards, but you know, sometimes it happens. I've had to cancel my uh, 
uh, Amex gold card just because I wasn't getting any value from it, okay? So again, guys, travel freely. Um, I definitely recommend it and I will have links down below for you guys to sign up. That will definitely uh, help the channel out a lot. So I'd really appreciate it. Uh, all you guys have to do is just go down there, check what card you want to apply for. You apply, you get approved and you're going to help out the channel tremendously. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, that's going to conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found the information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share with your friends. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the city double cash. All right. Um, do you like it? Do you like city? Obviously, uh, don't forget to hit that bell notification down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys don't miss a thing for whenever I drop my next video. All right? Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!